Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bullet on Fire 12 and welcome back to the next episode of Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In the last episode, we figured out who that mysterious character was. It was none other than Mike Torino. He's still alive, even after when we shot that helicopter down. But I think the more logical thing was, he was never on that helicopter to begin with. So he's still alive, and he knows about CJ's life and past, and now we're working with him. So let's continue on with the story and find out what he wants us to do now. Verdant Meadows. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit, <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No, not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Cause I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama, I wanna put a price on your head. A Russian spy, little fat Boris looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good, you'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone, you bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So, what you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. So this isn't really much of a mission. More of an instruction to continue on with the story. It's find a vehicle. I need to do some running. So there is an airstrip in the desert. Why have I got a phone call? Yo, CJ. It's like, uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, dude, the garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting to get that phone call. But that's nothing really to do with the story, that's something else you can do in the game. Yeah, we don't have anything else really to do with the garage anymore now, that's kind of all complete. Anyway, as I was saying, so there is a airstrip in the desert for us to purchase, which will give us more missions with Torino. But if you remember, in the past episodes, I was talking about the different schools that you've got in this game and thinking about it. Jethro just mentioned the driving school again, so that's one of them, which we've done. And at the airstrip, guess what? There's going to be another school there. And what could it be? Well, it's not going to be a boat school, it's not going to be a bike school, it's the flying school. So yes, we are going to be learning to fly, and I'm going to try and do it as quickly as possible, like I did with the driving school, so that we get the flying school done, and I'll see how many missions we fit into the episode as well. Main focus is get all of the tests of the flying school done. So let's get to that airstrip and buy it. Here's our new base of operations, look at this place. It's pretty cool. Bit of a sandstorm going on in a minute, but no worries. $80,000. Expensive, but we need it in order to continue with the story. So up here is where we're going to be doing the flying school. There's a TV with the tests on it. So let's learn to fly. Well, Carl, so what do you think of our new base of operations? It's missing something. Maybe a tennis court and a pool will help motivate me better. Very nice call, very cute. Uh, so listen, now, um, you're going to have to learn how to fly. No, I ain't. Yes, actually you are. I set out a series of tests for you. You can access them on that TV. You're going to have to prove to me that you can fly if you're going to continue working towards your brother's freedom. 
Shit. Whatever, man. Very nice. Learning to fly. First couple of tests are going to be quite simple. This is just take off. silver. Flying skill has been upgraded. Let's continue on, just keep doing all these tests. I forgot that this plane has got mini guns on it and I accidentally just pressed it. Ooh, nearly got a gold for that. Well, I'm not really focusing on getting golds, I just want to pass all the tests so we can actually get on with missions. Hey, look at that, pilot's license now obtained. So that means whenever I go to airports, I can actually just drive through and they'll let me in because I've got a pilot's license now. This is basically the same test as the last one, except this time, we also have to land the plane. Nearly 100% on that one. Oh, look at that! 100%! I just get gold of that one. 
Alright, time to land the helicopter this time. Not bad, not bad. Let's move on. Hey, look at that. I've got smoke coming out the back of this. Look at that. 100%. Look at that. This is it, last test, the parachute test. Oh, nearly 100%, nearly. And that is it, that's the learning to fly finished. Alright, let's just quickly do one mission. I might do another one after this, but if not, we'll end the episode there. N-O-E. Get you again, Carl! You're half asleep. I could have killed you in nine different ways. Wake up and smell the coffee. You need to lay off the coffee. We got a problem. I got some guys out in the field need some equipment. If they don't get it, they'll be dead by nightfall. Then take it to them! 
Me take it to them? Yeah, why not? I got five guys watching me all the time. I got two in that hill, one over there, and two by satellite. If I go, my guys and I will be dead. I don't have a death wish. I'm a man of peace, son. Yeah, clearly. Take the plane. Now, you're not ready yet, so stay low under the radar. Questions? Yeah, just one thing. Get to I... it. Wait, hey, listen. Listen to me for once. Why won't these guys come after me? Oh, they can't, because they're all posted on me. One DEA, one FBI, a Russian, a Cuban double agent, and my paymasters. Checks and balances. Nobody is watching anybody watching nobody. Know what I mean? Go. Whatever, man. man what you been up to come along and see for yourself i got a little business proposition for you come over and see the setup my friend okay for sure i like that like it you're gonna love it it's the four dragons casino in las venturas i'll see you soon yeah yeah okay we'll be heading over to las venturas soon but we're gonna finish everything in the desert first before we head over there anyway let's do this next mission here at the airstrip stowaway Ah, uh, what's Torino up to now? I'm feeling a little exposed here. What's your take on this? Damn! I thought them was your people. Listen, Carl, we've got a problem. Some traitors from another department think they can help the overseas situation by financing militaristic dictators in exchange for arms contracts. Hey, ain't that exactly what you do? Well, kind of, but we get to pick our dictators. Degenerates that we can control. We try to stay the hell away from these guys with principles, because that just muddies the waters. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Of course, these idiots have stolen a consignment of landmines and they plan to offload them in the Middle East and cause a little rocket and everybody goes crazy and have a lot of problems. I mean, Carl, do you like maiming people? I'm curious. Maiming? Some people? Shit. Anyway, the point is, you and me, Carl, hey, we're the same. Now, yeah, it's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. But if you screw this up, it causes a tinderbox situation all over Latin America and the Middle East. Now, look, I spoke to the big man. You got clearance to eliminate these fuckers. How's that? Huh? Man, kill government agents? <laughs> kill Schmidl. Come on, don't, don't look at it that way. Well, yeah, think of it as pest control. It works for me. 
All right, come on. I can't stay here now. I'm too hip. I gotta go. Okay? I'm out of here. Well, we got to do this quick. Here goes nothing. Are you serious? Are you serious? I steered away from that. Oh. Pardon me. The great day will be what you go. Oh god, actually, hold on. Gotta watch out for the barrels. Oh, yeah, it needs to park the bomb of the plane. Okay, hold on. Let's just put the satchel charge there. Let's get the parachute out ready to jump. And that's it. Off we go! Right, so I'm definitely going to end the episode off here. I'm going to get back to the airstrip so I can save the game. And what's interesting, I'll quickly mention this, there's an alternative cutscene to that mission. If you don't pick up the parachute after you plant the satchel charge, jump off the plane, there's this cutscene where CJ just falls to the ground and crashes into a pickup truck, and as I'm sure you can imagine, he dies and you fail the mission for that. Just thought you might like to know that. Back on the ground, nice and safe. Right, let's find... Okay, maybe not. Phone call time. Hey. Tiny boat, idiota! Catalina, hey, I know it's you. What's eating you, baby? I don't love you no more! <laughs> well, hey, that's just... Hello? <laughs> I do forget when Catalina does randomly call you. Right. Time to head back to the airstrip and end this episode off. And here we are, back at the airstrip. Thank you all very much for watching this episode. If you've liked it, then leave a like rating and subscribe if you're new. But for now, it is goodbye from me. I shall see all of you guys very soon with my next video. So take care, guys, and good.